Hey guys, this is Shannon with Nearly Organic Noshing and it is Saturday. Um, I just got back from a Walmart pickup and all of my errands and stuff around town. It is hot and it is raining in Florida. Just the most wonderful combination. So we're glistening here. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up on the table and show you what we have for our low carb um, grocery haul. And I am happy to report, it's been three weeks, but I'm down 10 pounds. I'm, I'm happy. You know, it's, it's not spectacular. It's not like flying off, but it's steady each week. So three weeks in, down 10 pounds, I'll take it. So I'm going to continue doing things the way I am. Um, I'm kind of following how Trim Healthy Mama, how they separate your carbs from your fats, but I'm counting nothing. I'm not counting any points. I'm not doing macros. I don't even really know what macros are. <laughs> uh, I'm not necessarily doing keto or a particular diet. I am keeping things low carb, everything for Chris. And then I am doing my carbs mainly in the morning and having um, like an RX bar or a handful of cherries or a banana or something like that. And then a light lunch. And then I'm doing a low carb dinner, high on the fat, low on the carb. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. So I'll go ahead and set up our grocery haul for the week and at the end I'll show you what our meal plan is going to be for next week. Okay guys, here is the order and this is $126.65 and there are some stock up items on here and there's some other things. Uh, my daughter's going to college to be a teacher and so for the next year, she has less than a year left, um, whenever I see stuff on clearance or back to school stuff, I'm going to be picking it up, putting it in a box for her classroom so that when it comes time to stock her class, she's not going to be a ton of money out of pocket right from the start. So um, this black poster is actually for us. I'm going to cut it in half and use half of it to take down to our off-grid camper to cover up the vent fan um, in the bedroom. It's kind of like a skylight right over the bed and as soon as the sun comes up it shines right in your eyes. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of make a little magnet cover for that and then I'm going to make a magnet cover for our enclosed trailer. Same thing out of this black poster board. And these um, folders right here, these were 15 cents each and I think I picked up around 20 of them. Um, the pencils, these packs of pencils were like 97 cents each and the same with the notebook here. I'm actually taking this to my office. That was 97 cents. There were quite a few items that I had ordered that were unavailable like crayons and colored pencils and all that stuff. They had to credit it back because they were sold out. So pick these up. The glues I believe were 50 cents each and same as the rulers. Those were 50 cents each. So most of this school supply stuff is all just going to go in a box and hopefully I'll have a couple of nice boxes completely filled up when she's ready for her classroom so she'll have lots of extras for her students. Now getting over here to food items, I picked up another thing of the sugar-free um, whole wheat bread and I want to say that's like two dollars and change. Uh, the root beer was on sale. I want to say 87 cents. This is what I do in the afternoon when I really need to pick me up. Um, I'll get soda of some sort, diet. I really love diet root beer. So I have some diet root beer. Evaporated milk, that is going to go in a um, casserole recipe that I'm going to have upcoming. And I was kind of surprised. Um, total sugars, it's three grams of sugar, but no added sugar. And that's for two tablespoons. So this is going to be mixed. Just part of this can, I believe, is going to be mixed into a dish. So I'm not too worried about using the evaporated milk in a recipe. I have two cans of petite diced tomatoes. Um, that's for another recipe I'm going to be working on. And these are the RX bars that I really, really like. Um, three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates. No BS. <laughs> I really like these. And... Um, there's two peanut butter chocolate, two blueberry, two coconut chocolate, and then four of the chocolate sea salt. These are not cheap, okay? This is like $15 and change for this box. Um, not cheap, but I do one each morning for breakfast, essentially. So um, the sugar kind of is a little high, I think, in my opinion, but 
like I said, this is my carbs for in the morning and it's not any added sugar. It's from the dates that are in here. So I'll continue on doing it. So far, it's working for me. Um, I picked up three bags of these uh, California blend vegetable mix at a dollar each, two bags of broccoli at a dollar each, a bag of cauliflower at a dollar, and then I saw these pesto spirals. They're carrot and zucchini, already seasoned with extra virgin olive oil and white pepper. It just looked good. Those were three dollars and change, and so I'm going to use these as a side dish one night for dinner. And then I picked up these Brazil nuts. Chris and I have been really wanting some, and the bag looked so much bigger in the picture, but that was like $5 for a bag of Brazil nuts, and yeah, not much in there. So I don't think I will be doing that again, but we wanted some to snack on, so we have them now. Um, I have a couple things of grapes. I have red and I have black. Jaden um, has been really going through the grapes and the watermelon. Um, taking that for lunch with some cheese and meat and stuff. So yeah, it's high in carbs, but I'd rather him eat grapes or watermelon than potato chips. So I'm not going to complain and I will continue to buy him grapes and watermelon. Um, here is just a bag of baby greens for salad one night. And then Jaden loves Caesar salad. And I had bought one of the little small kits and they were out of it. So they upsized it to the family size. And so we'll probably do Caesar salad one night for dinner with grilled chicken. Here are two squash and a zucchini to go with a meal that I have upcoming and some hot sausage. I am not one for hot and spicy stuff. Chris and Trevlin are, they love hot spicy. So I'm hoping that in a casserole, this will not be super, super spicy and it'll just give it a little extra flavor. Some fresh broccoli and cauliflower to have as a side just to dip in some ranch or something for dinner. And then I have some half and half for the office and some more lactose free milk for Jaden. Um, I was still stocking up on butter. Every order I pick up two packs of this, put it up in the freezer. The holidays are definitely right around the corner. And then I got Jaden some lactose-free sharp cheddar. He asked for some sharp cheddar in block form. And since he's having such an issue with lactose, I decided just to get him the lactose-free cheese. He has been eating regular cheese and it hasn't been affecting him too much, but it's the same price. I can get him the lactose-free just to hopefully make it a little bit better. And then um, Chris wants me to make these like pizza pocket things that I had we had seen a video for and some more of the low carb bagels and those use mozzarella cheese. So I picked up some more mozzarella cheese. Um, this is the dog food I like to give the dogs. It's kind of expensive, but it's really good for them. It's almost $17 bag and it's the Rachel Ray Nutrice. And then I picked up laundry detergent and fabric softener. Quite often I make my own, but honestly, I just haven't had the time and it's easier if I order those ingredients and have them shipped to the house. They just tend to have them in stock more if I order them online like that. And I just need to sit down and make one of those orders. And I want to say this was $6 and change. And this was like right around $5 for the fabric softener. So that's it. It doesn't seem like there's that much stuff here for the cost. But those bars right there were expensive and the dog food was expensive. Just those things were... 30 some dollars for, for the two items. So kind of pricey. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put away and, um, get our meal plan written up. Okay guys, I have the meal plan for the week set out. Um, I have on Monday meatball soup with zucchini tots, Tuesday jerk pork with peppers and onions and brown rice. Uh, let's see, Wednesday, Parm Ranch Chicken with mixed vegetables and jalapeno poppers. Thursday is Herb Cream Cheese with egg and ham casserole and then some sort of uh, vegetable on the side. Friday, Keto Taco Bake with a salad. Saturday, Mississippi Chicken with cauliflower rice and broccoli and carrots. And then Sunday, Meatloaf with creamed cauliflower and broccoli. Um, the veggies will probably end up getting mixed up. I'll, you know, whatever I feel like. Um, sometimes it'll be fresh broccoli, cauliflower, carrots. Sometimes it'll be steamed or cooked. 
it, it'll just get mixed up. Whatever we feel like, side dishes really do get mixed around. And as I was putting stuff away, I saw that I need more bags of the frozen pepper mixes. We really like those. And we're gonna need some more heavy whipping cream. Um, I still eventually need to, uh, I wanna try and make that homemade clam chowder, but do it low carb. So I need more um, uh, heavy whipping cream and half and half for that. So that is on the list, but this is it for the week. Um, we ended up uh, deviating from the list last week. We just just weren't feeling a couple of the recipes so we just mixed it up and we do that so recipes are subject to change um, there are quite a few of the ground beef recipes here because um, the frozen ground beef I have are big like five pound containers of it so what I'll do is I'll defrost it and then I'll make a couple of these in a row of the ground beef and um, just we'll have those we'll have ground beef a couple of days in a row but just in different recipes so that is the way i always try and get it done all right so um, as i go down my list i'll think of more grocery items and then this is my note section where i'll do lunch stuff and i haven't put um, all my lunch stuff together yet um, or snack stuff which i'm getting ready to go make uh, boiled eggs i need to go make some bacon um, i need to go cut up veggies so that is on my to-do list for the day. I just have not gotten that far yet. So, all right, guys, I hope you're enjoying these menu plans and my grocery hauls. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Have a great day.